In a previous video, we learned how to create line art that looked like this, where we can create any animation that we already have and render it out as line art like this. However, many of you wanted to know how we can add noise. So that's why in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to take any animation that you have and create line art with some noise just like this. So let's begin. It's going to be really fast to render and it's very easy to set up. So the first thing that you have to do is go to your scene where you already have everything set up and you can see this is the animation that we currently have and we want to add in a new object to this and we don't necessarily need to do this in Eevee and we can actually use the workbench and since workbench is much faster that's what we're going to use. So we're going to change the render engine from Eevee to workbench and now everything just runs a lot faster and at least renders out a lot faster. So what we can do is press shift A, grease pencil and after pressing shift A we go down to the grease pencil and add in a stroke. So right now you can see the stroke has been added in wherever our 3D cursor was but we don't actually need the stroke to be visible in this scene. So we're going to take it and move it away outside our view. Now we can go to this modifiers over here and just add in a line art modifier. Once you've added in the line art modifier, we're going to change the source type from collection to scene. Although you could use collection and just put whatever you want to have the line art into a separate collection and do it. But for now, I need everything in the scene to have it. So I'm going to change it to scene. And for the layer, you can choose either one of these. It doesn't matter. We're going to choose colors. And for the material, we can go with the black stroke if you want a black stroke. Otherwise, you can use whatever stroke you want. Now, if you just switch off overlays, you can see what we currently have. There are a few more settings that you can play around with, such as your edge types. You could choose which of these actually get lines and which ones don't. However, what I want to do is go to style and just increase the thickness from 25 to something like 40 so that the lines are just a bit thicker. Now this will still have solid lines throughout the animation and it's not going to actually move. To get them to move around, all you have to do is add in another modifier and this time we're going to choose the noise modifier. When you've added in the noise modifier, you can see that when you change every frame, it's going to be slightly different. There's just a little wiggle added in. But remember, the line art modifier is very CPU intensive and so your computer is going to lag quite a bit. So if you actually want to see what it looks like when you actually render it out, what you can do is go to bake and then click on bake line art. This will take a few seconds to process but once you finish baking it you'll be able to play it back in real time. So if you just click bake line art you can see down at the absolute bottom there's the progress bar and it's essentially going to go frame by frame to bake everything in. So once it's done baking you can actually play it in real time and you can see what the animation looks like. Now this is with the noise added in and you can go ahead and play around with the noise settings. If you want it to be a much more hand animated or hand drawn effect, you can just increase the noise scale to something like 0.2 and you'll actually see how it actually roughens up most of the lines around the curves and things like that and you get this really nice effect. So now to actually get the render to look good, you can go to your render properties and again you can change this from studio to matte cap and you can switch on cavity and increase ridge and increase valley and then just render this out. However, if you want just the outlines to be present to make it look like a complete hand-drawn animation only, you can take the stroke object from within your collection and just move it out or move it to a separate collection. So we can take the stroke object and just drag it above and outside the collection and place it into the scene collection so that it's no longer inside the collection within the scene. Now you can collapse collection and just de-check it and that way you get just the lines animating around and it looks like a complete hand-drawn animation. However, for the world, if you don't want it to be gray, you can go down to the world properties and increase the viewport display all the way to white and there you have a, a white background with your hand-drawn animations happening. So this is just a really fun way that I figured out that you can create these hand-drawn style animations and you can use this to create reels like the initial hand-drawn concept versus the final result and different things like that. It's all up to you and I'm sure you're going to use this creatively. There's a lot more tips and tricks coming out so stay tuned and until they do come out don't forget to stay creative.